Video Leap now has so many AI tools in 2024 and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use it as a video editor as well as how to use the new AI tools in it. So whether you're a beginner or you already know how to use it but you don't know some of the current tools, watch this video because you're going to learn a lot. And also make sure you save and share to be able to use it to practice later. So go to your Video Leap app here. I just want to let you know that this is not my real voice. And see, they're already welcoming you with their AI tool. And I'm going to show you how to use them later in this video. They have several templates. So if you want to make reels, TikTok, you have templates available for you that are really, really good. I like them. But for now, we are going to be starting from the scratch because I would assume you just want to learn how to use, how to edit your own videos. So go to plus button here new project and then select all the clips you want to edit so these are the clips and i would like to rearrange them so i started with brushing my hair so i'm going to just hold on to the clip and move it and then i added gel so i hold on to the clip and then move it with my fingers yeah so this is how i want it to be and i want i want this video to be not more than one minute because i want to post it on youtube shorts and reels so to cut down this video you just hold it on like this and then here you can go to where you want to cut it and then click on this symbol here and delete the rest of them or you can just trim it. I would like to trim it instead. So just hold on, just click on the clip and then move it like this and like this. And you can trim it. I'm doing the same for this and this as well. And then I go to the gel and move it and just do it for the rest of them, basically. I'm trimming the beginning and the end. Done cutting the video down to approximately one minute. Oh, I still have extra eight seconds to get rid of, but it doesn't matter. Let's proceed. So now I'm going to be showing you other features. This, this mixer is used to overlay pictures or videos. So if you want to put a video on the video, or if you want a picture on the video, just click on mixer and select the picture you want. So now look, there's a picture here to add add as many as you want let me see if i can add more things yeah I, let me show this red one um edge wax yeah i think i should put it here instead so now i'm going to hold on to it and move it to where i used the wax and use your fingers to move it to the side or wherever you want it to be yes here i honestly don't really want these pictures here so i'm just going to click on it i mean scroll to the right and delete it hold on to it scroll to the right and delete it so i'm just going to let it be like this but i just wanted to show you what the mix size is used for now to text text is used to add text like you know so if i want to add text at the beginning or throughout the video go to edit and type whatever I want. Let me say how to do a slick bun. Yeah, this should be my caption or my title. And then go to fonts. There are so many fonts you can use. I don't really know which fonts to use for now, but let me just pick any one. And you can change the color of the text to whatever color you want. Um, but I'm just going to leave it as white, but I just wanted to show you how it looks like. So white, click on the text whenever you want to edit it. So all these things basically are used to, to edit your text. You can use this one to duplicate the text. So if you want it to be two times, you just duplicate it and now you have more. See, I have as many as I want i usually use the duplicate if you want to apply the same style of text so if you want to add animation you can also add animation microphone yeah like microphone. it shows how the text microphone. will appear in your video but that's not necessary if it's a caption so just 
let it be like that so next is audio with audio i can use it to add voiceover but i want to remove the audio that is already there first of all so to do that we click on the clips and then we click on audio and then in volume here you remove it like this and that way you've removed the volume so not there is no sound now in the video so you do that for the rest of your clip just click on them go to audio volume and take it to zero now i would have preferred to do it at the beginning of this video because now it's going to take too much time so you need to learn from my mistake you can also mute it instead of reducing the volume so just do what's convenient for you always find a way to do things in the shortest time possible so just click on mute instead and just do it for the rest of them moots and yeah i think i'm done with all the clips the next one is filter if you're interested in filters i don't like the filters here oh i like this one i like some of the filters they're so crisp so if you want the filter to be applied throughout the clip just always always use this thing at the end just drag it till the end or till where you want the filter to cover and here you can increase the intensity of the filter oh i really like this filter it's really good it's so good so that's basically what filter is used for adjust is used to manually edit your contrast your brightness your exposure saturation and things like that and with this one you just play around with it it's just there is no formula for it you just have to see what you like or how you want your clips to be but just don't do it too much so that you don't look weird or look make the video look cheap just a little bit of everything and you're good especially if your camera quality is good and the next one is effects and always increase the intensity and increase it to the rest of the clips so now let's see how it looks like ooh, 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 ooh. we don't want it all over the video so we're just going to only put it at the transitions but we don't need it anyways we're going to delete it and to delete you just scroll to the left as always and click on remove and it's gone because we don't need that next is canvas with canvas with canvas you use it to edit the format of the video so if you want your format to be in, if you want to upload it to instagram you use three ratio four and it automatically helps your video to have that shape oh i like it so if you want to post on instagram if you want to post on ig reels short or tiktok you use 9 ratio 16 you also have 1 ratio 1 4 ratio 3 and if you don't want to use those ratios because you're not familiar with them you can just scroll to the left you would see tiktok you would see youtube you see shorts and i just like how it cuts the video it makes the cut is so clean like i can just post it on youtube like this without having to worry about anything it looks so good i like this they also have shorts we have instagram we have reels yeah that's it basically for that for canvas that's what canvas is used for to edit the ratio of the video and it automatically does it for you so you can transform your youtube videos to shorts or to reels or to tiktok videos and vice versa and now for audio we also have voiceover you can add your own voiceover here i already removed the sound of the video so here i'm going to add voiceovers hello everyone i'm going to be showing you how to do this slick bun hairstyle yeah so let's see how it sounds hello everyone i'm going to be showing you how to do this slick bun hairstyle Okay. but the voiceover stops here so i want to add music to the rest of the video so i go to audio music let's see which music i want i like this one so i'm just going to click here to download the music but i also have to check if it's copyright free because yeah 
hello everyone i'm going to be showing you how to do this slick bun hairstyle They also have sound effects. So there are different sound effects you can add to your videos. And one thing I want to show you is called the AI voiceover. And to have access to that, just click on one of the clips and go to AI voices got it you have to subscribe to the app to have access to it so we're just going to leave that we also have speed so if you want to speed it up a little bit speed your clip up bun hairstyle now it's too slow if i want to speed it up i just go here yeah and now it's really fast you can adjust the speed now magic edit is an ai tool it just basically helps you to edit your videos for you it cuts down your videos add music add effect add animation add transition that's what it does and here is the result So I want to try another edit now. OMG, it looks so magical. I think I'm going to just keep this one, but it's just too short. And I, I would prefer it to be longer than this, but that's the disadvantage of magic edit. It helps you make wonderful videos, but then it will be too short. I'm just going to take it back click here and it will remove all the effects and now your video has returned back to normal and that's basically how to edit your videos you of course there are more complicated things you can do like creating your own clone and stuff like that but that'll be for a more advanced tutorial for now i'm just teaching you as a beginner now video leap now has ai tools up here all these things are ai tools and some of them are free while others are not so we're going to be trying them out now let's try the horizon upload media and then continue zoom out let's go Honestly, I don't think this is a useful tool, but I think it's just a fun AI tool. Let's try the scene swap. Yeah, it's a bit rusty. <laughs> they still need to work on that. So I have other tutorials for other video editing apps like CapCut, InShot, Canva, and so many more. So if you're interested in things like this, especially AI tools, please make sure you subscribe, like, and also watch some of these videos here if you're interested. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.